Two Etonians, born less than a decade apart, but with wildly different world views. Prime Minister and prelate clashing in public. Happy Easter to all of you. The first skirmish came on Easter Sunday. From Canterbury, a warning that the Almighty would take a dim view of government plans to send some migrants to Rwanda. The details are for politics and politicians. The principle must stand the judgment of God, and it cannot. Last night, in a grand room along this corridor, Boris Johnson hit back. In a meeting with his parliamentary party, the Prime Minister showed his deep irritation with the Archbishop by noting, under his breath, that some senior members of the clergy were more critical of his government than of Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Oh. A disgraceful slur, said the Church of England, and Labour accused the Prime Minister of misrepresenting the Archbishop, who condemned the invasion of Ukraine in February as an act of great evil. Would the Prime Minister like to take this opportunity to apologise for slandering the Archbishop on the Church of England? Well, I was slightly taken aback for the government to be criticised over the uh, policy that we have uh, devised to uh, end, the, end the, the deaths at sea in the Channel as a result of cruel criminal gangs. No denial that he'd made the remarks and confirmation of his irritation with the church. Clashes between prime ministers and prelates are rare, but can leave a profound mark. In her famous Sermon on the Mound, Margaret Thatcher took aim at church leaders who challenged her philosophy. Nobody would describe Boris Johnson as a deeply religious figure in the mould of Lady Thatcher. Yes, he was baptised a Catholic, but he once likened his faith to the reception of Magic FM in the Chilterns. It comes and it goes. No mixed signals from him now after what friends describe as a deeply political intervention by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Well, the Archbishop took his one big moment of the year, his Easter sermon, and didn't use that to criticise the appalling invasion of Ukraine, but did use it to attack the government for seeking to stop the people smugglers, um, stop the deaths in the channel, um, stop the deaths in the backs of lorries. Um, so well, I think you know he entered, he went with both feet into politics um, and as befits someone who's good at theology but not very good at politics, I think he got it wrong. He was out of touch with the British people and the Prime Minister was quite right to upbraid him for it. One of Parliament's most prominent Christians defended the Archbishop. When you are uh, a church leader, you have a role to be strikingly clear in speaking about the morality of the country in which you've been placed. And that will mean being offensive. Christianity is offensive in every culture. It's counter-cultural. Counter in this case, I think it is counter-cultural in that um, Christ tells us that everybody is equal, everybody is of enormous dignity and value. And that includes people who come here via irregular routes, escaping from uh, incredible hardship. What I can be sure of is that the motivation uh, to do this, which seems to be simply to divert attention from Boris's own troubles, that strikes me as being wicked. Calm in a house of God that was once the scene of the ultimate showdown between church and state. Easier times now, but the atmosphere is sulphurous.